So I've got this scooter here, right? I advertised this scooter. It's okay. This is a sixteen hundred dollar scooter. I paid twelve hundred and fifty dollars and a little bit for postage about a month ago for this scooter. I've used this scooter twice. I went up to Southland, put money in the bank, came back. Went up the street, got something to eat, came back. It's brand new. It's a brand new scooter. That's the charger. Brand new scooter. Sixteen hundred dollars. So it's not cheap. It's not like a three hundred dollar scooter, is it? It's sixteen hundred dollars. So there we go. So it's a pretty good scooter. It does about almost fifty k's. Anyway, so I don't need it because I got a better one. I don't need all these scooters, seeing that you can't even legally use them on the road now. So, what's the point of having a whole bunch of scooters? You can't even use them unless you got like private property. So I'll get rid of them. So I put this on eBay for nine hundred dollars. eBay takes a fee when it sells. That's okay. You know, eBay helps the transaction go through legally, which is what you pay the fee for. And this guy buys it, and he doesn't contact me for like two, three days. I send him eBay messages saying, "Hey, mate." You obviously don't want the scooter because you, you, there's lack of communication. I sent him a message when it first sold saying, here's my mobile number, here's the pickup address, pay for it, come get it. But he just never did that. So I said, because of the lack of communication, it's been a couple of days, you obviously don't want the scooter. That's okay, I'll cancel it and I'll relist it so some other cunt can buy it. And... He replies back going, no, 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 no. Please, mate, please. I really, really want it. Oh, but I've only got 800. Um, or, 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 or if I can get money off my mum. I've only got, I've only got 700 right now. And I can probably get another 100 off my mum. And I said, oh, fuck. All right, I'll cancel it off eBay. So I don't have to pay the eBay fee. I said all this through my mobile. I said, he call, contact me through my mobile phone, please. So, I don't, so I'm going, we've, we've ch ch you know, changed messages for eBay. And then eBay goes, ooh, you, you shouldn't be selling things without our permission once you sell it on our site and all this shit. So anyway, we con I contact him through the mobile phone. I tell him just to, look, to, to, so I get the correct amount at the end of the transaction. We'll, we'll get rid of eBay so I don't have to pay the eBay fee. So we cancel eBay. And then he never comes. He's supposed to come to this work factory here. He never comes. And then the next day comes and he's supposed to come. Never comes. So I go to him, listen, mate, you just let me know when you're 20 minutes away from the place because i got to do shit. I can't just sit here forever and you never come. And he goes, okay, okay, no worries because he keeps getting stuck in the city it's probably some drug dealer or something. I don't know. So he's stuck in the city all the time. And he can never come here when he says he's going to be here. And so anyway, I put the, the scooter in the in my boot of my car. So I have it on me all the time. In case I need to meet him somewhere else maybe. Anyway, he, he says I'm 20 minutes away from Moorabbin Station the third day after saying he was going to come. So I go to the Moorabbin Station and I pull up. And he's with two guys and a girl. And I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, well, it's daytime. I, I park at the Moorabbin Station car park. And there's people all over the place. There's people everywhere. So I'm like, well, you know, if he tries to rob me, I'll just smack him in the face and start screaming or something, you know? So it can't be that, that bad. There's people everywhere. So um, I, I decide to pull over and, and interact with him, which I normally wouldn't unless it was like, you know an old person or a mother or something, you know, if it's just two, three young blokes looking like they want to fight, I wouldn't really do that, but I did this time, took a risk, and anyway, he, he walks up to me straight away and goes, I pop, pop the boot and show him the scooter, and his mate goes, check if it fucking works, cunt, she probably doesn't even fucking work, bro. And I'm just like, what the fuck? And, and he goes, look, I transferred you the money, here, give me the scooter. And I'm like, well, hang on, just let me check. So I pull out my phone, I'm checking. I'm like, I haven't got any money off you, mate. And he's all like, no, but look, I paid you. And he shows me his phone. He's like, look, look. And it says my name and he's transferred the money. And, and, and I'm like, checking my phone. 
And I'm like, look, I can't give you the scooter until it's been paid. He's like, I bought, I bought, I've paid you. And I look at it, and it says in the fine print underneath where he's paid me, it may take 24 hours to clear because it's a large amount. And I, I started getting really angry because I felt like they were going to jump on the top of me. I'm like, listen, mate. I can't give you this fucking scooter unless I've got money. And he's like, oh, but you'll get the money. So I closed the boot. And he goes, listen, I'm not leaving without this scooter. I've come a long way for this. And I said, listen, mate, you're not getting the scooter until I get the money. I'll come drop it off to you when the money clears, wherever you are. Okay? And they're getting a little angry. I jump in my car and drive away. And then the next day he calls me and he says, oh, I cancelled that money. And I said, well, what'd you do that for? Like I told you, when it clears, I would have came and gave it to you. And he said, oh, I think it would be quicker if I cancelled it, got the cash and came and met you. So now I'm at the point where he's going to come here today where me and dad are with a bunch of baseball bats <laughs> ready, not in my hand, but you know, I'll have a fucking hammer over there and a baseball bat over there, maybe a couple of knives or something in case I need to kill him. And if he comes here with his mates, whatever, you know, we all got security cameras, we got a workshop full of fucking weapons. But if he comes here without the cash and wants this scooter, there'll be blood pouring all over the floor. So we'll see what happens. All over this little stupid scooter that children want to play with. Fucking Christ.